yet with the help of the Almighty, uh, we have come here, Jewish people, some originally eight, nine generations Palestinian, and from uh, Canada, from England, and from the US, and we are here to uh, deliver a message, a critical message, that Jews, because we are religious Jews, because we uphold the teachings of the Torah, that's the Jewish law, therefore we oppose entirely the existence of the State of Israel. That is an occupation, the Nakba, and the endless river of bloodshed that is created, that is caused by this occupation. Jews have been living together with Arabs, Muslims, for hundreds of years in Arab and Muslim lands and in Palestine, which this picture is from. We constantly live together, even though we have a different religion, it was never an impediment of coexistence. We lived in peace. Zionism is a, a recent creation. Judaism is the religion of 3,000 years. Zionism just started 100 odd years ago. It's a nationalism. It's a transformation from our religion to create a national state. Our rabbis all around the world opposed it. They pleaded. They met with the kings of Transjordan, of the other Arab leaders. They spoke with the United Nations and said, we furthermore wish to express our definite opposition to a Jewish state in any part of Palestine. This is, the, this is in the UN documents. 1947, the rabbis gave over to the United Nations. We've been massing and demonstrating in the tens and hundreds of thousands Jews in Jerusalem, around the world. In, in, in America, in front of the White House, all the Jewish communities around the world that are true to Judaism adamantly opposes the occupation. We're not about to kill, steal, murder, oppress. We are furthermore not allowed to uh, have a Jewish state, even in an uninhabited land. This Zionism, because they're occupying, has caused death and suffering of the Palestinian people. And this week, we have seen the culmination, you can say, of how much bloodshed in one days, in, in days could happen. Because they're the, the cause, the root cause, and we point our fingers at the tragic blood of uh, hundreds of Jews, and that just the following another link of the Palestinian bloodshed that was spilled, and now they're standing at the doors of Gaza, at the gates of Gaza in mass, over 300,000 troopers, of Israel and they're standing and they're, they're throwing bombs on Gaza and people are being murdered there are almost 3,000 people murdered or maybe more today and ten, maybe 10,000 already wounded our hearts cry as Jews with the Palestinian people and we declare and speak to the world we say this is not the Jewish teaching it's not Judaism and it's not Jews who are true to the Torah we cry and hurt with the Palestinian people. We plead with the world leaders, stop being conned by the Zionism and their, uh, their vilification of the victims. The Palestinian people are being oppressed and this is what the result is of oppression, of an illegal occupation of this Nakba. You want to bring an end to the suffering and bloodshed? You want to bring an end that the world should not become anti-Semitic? Stop the occupation, end this illegal, totally illegitimate Zionist state of Israel. They, the Zionist state of Israel, are the anti-Semites. They are the ones that cause bucket loads of hate of Jews and blood to pour. They are the ones that now want to put a band-aid on a hemorrhaging wound and have the world support them to further, God forbid, flatten Gaza. We cannot be silent. We cry with the world. Be just. God is just. God is compassionate. Let us stand together, pray to God for a speedy and peaceful removal of the impediment to peace, the Zionist state of Israel. Let us pray to God and let us stand up with the people of Palestine and plead with the world leaders. Help us stop immediately this bloodshed hate and let us bring a free Palestine soon where we can all live together in peace and harmony. The Jews together with the Muslims and Jews can show our gratitude for all this good done to us. God help soon in our days. Thank you. Thank you.